you have just started the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman Outdoor Recreational Briefing. This briefing is an overview of the rules and regulations that pertain to general outdoor recreation and is not all-inclusive. Additional information and regulations you should know can be found on the Fort Riley Outdoor Recreation Map, the Regulation Summary, and on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman homepage under the Recreational Information tab. During this briefing, you will be prompted by a red pause button at the top left corner of your screen. You are encouraged to pause the video and read the additional material provided. The military mission has precedence over any outdoor recreational opportunity. Fort Riley or portions of it may be closed at any time without prior notice. Vehicle access to all or portions of the installation may be prohibited. However, foot traffic may still be permitted. A reminder, military training often occurs in training areas designated as open. Recreationists are required to maintain a 200 meter distance between themselves and any active body of troops, helicopters, or other military equipment. All individuals are required to have a DOD ID card or a Fort Riley Access Pass or badge on their person while on the installation. An Access Pass can be obtained at the Visitor Control Center located by the Henry Gate Access Control Point off of I-70 at Exit 301. Recreationists must register an account on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website before recreating on the installation. You must check in and out before and after recreating, which can be done by using any personal device with internet access, by visiting the Army one-stop kiosk located at the Visitor Control Center or at the Environmental Office. A printed copy of the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman Vehicle Pass must be displayed in the front window of vehicles being used while recreating on Fort Riley. You can print a copy of the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman Vehicle Pass from the Ice Sportsman website. The impact area and Douthat Range Complex are off limits at all times. Additionally, other areas may be off limits due to military training activities. Listings and maps of areas off limits will be posted on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website and at the Environmental Office. Prior to recreating, you must understand how to determine what areas are open, what areas are closed, and be able to distinguish those areas from one another. For recreational access north of Vinton School Road, please use the old Highway 77 access point. The Douthat Range Complex access point can be used if Maneuver Area Quebec is open but is subject to closure without notice. A copy of this map is available on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website under the Maps tab. Blaze Orange is required during September 1st through May 31st. All outdoor recreationists, including archery deer hunters who are not in a stationary position, must wear at least one article of Blaze Orange apparel. During any Fort Riley firearms deer season, all individuals recreating in areas open to firearms deer hunting must wear a blaze orange hat and at least 100 square inches of blaze orange on their front and back at all times when they are not in a vehicle or a building. Please pause and read carefully some of the general requirements for hunting on Fort Riley. Additional information on regulations, requirements, and a list of hunting season dates can be found under the Recreational Information tab on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman homepage. All firearms brought on post must be registered with Fort Riley. Firearms may be registered at the Visitor Control Center. For more information about the registration process, please review the Privately Owned Firearm Guide under the Regulations tab on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website and review Fort Riley Regulation 190-1. A reminder, Transporting firearms on Fort Riley requires you to adhere to the specifics outlined on this slide and those detailed in the Fort Riley Regulation 190-1. Please pay close attention. Please pause and read carefully the general requirements for fishing on Fort Riley. Additional information on regulations and stocking reports can be found under the Recreational Information tab on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman homepage. Please pause and read carefully the general requirements for non-consumptive outdoor activities on Fort Riley. Additional information and regulations can be found under the Recreational Information tab on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman homepage.
the use of motorized vehicles off-road is prohibited on Fort Riley. Individuals traveling outside of the designated off-road trails outlined on the Fort Riley Outdoor Recreation Map may be subject to fines. Repeat offenses may result in suspension of all recreational activities on the installation and additional fines. Unexploded Ordnance Safety Recognize, Retreat, and Report Do not touch or shoot any unexploded munitions. Please report the location of any unexploded ordinances to the Fort Riley Police, Range Support, or on the Training Area Hazard Report form you can find under the Check-In, Check-Out tab on the Fort Riley iSportsman homepage. At the conclusion of this briefing, you will take a short quiz. Once you have completed the briefing and passed the quiz, you will select Continue to Permit. The next screen will show you what permits are available to you. You will find your Fort Riley Ice Sportsman Permit and select Add to Cart. Once you have selected your appropriate permits, click Checkout. And then you will confirm your order. Now that your order is complete, you will be able to print your permit. You must have a copy of your Fort Riley Ice Sportsman permit on your person and a vehicle pass displayed in the front windshield of any vehicle being used while recreating on Fort Riley. For more detailed information regarding hunting, fishing, and other outdoor recreation opportunities, please visit the Fort Riley Environmental Office Self-Help Customer Service Room or call 785-239-6211. To report a wildlife crime, please call the Fort Riley Operation Game Plan or the Fort Riley Game Warden Section. Good luck and be safe.